Well, hey everybody. Um, today I'm going to be changing out the string. I ended up uh, getting a little bit of fraying going on right here at my peep. Um, I adjusted my peep a little bit and uh, in my exuberance to have a tight uh, tie off of my peep, locking it down, I uh, kind of cut some strands. It, I had had some wear there from doing moving it around a little bit. So, And it's a stock string. So um, I'm going to be changing out the string cable to the vapor trails and they just came in the mail today and there's a couple of things I'm going to do here before I take any attention off my bow there's a, there's one or two little things I want to pay attention to I want to be able to put the string on and get it kind of into shooting as quickly as possible I want to get everything changed over the knock point the peep um, where I tie off with uh, my rip cord because I don't use the football with my rip cord, I actually tie it off. I find a place down there, down the handle a ways, I tie it off and I cinch it down to where it can't move up or down either way. Um, not to say that a little football isn't a good thing, I just have, uh, I just have always done it this way and I, I like doing it, I, know, I like knowing for sure. Plus I like, with this, I like uh, tying my rest into my cable this way. I can have the, the rest cord coming out at an angle so it goes away from my hand when I'm holding the bow. So I've got a few things I want to be able to, I want to get back into, into, sit into the proper location as quickly as possible. The knock point, the peep, and where my rest ties into my cable. So what I'm going to do before I do anything is I'm going to make a couple of marks. I'm going to take a permanent marker, Sharpie or whatever you've got, and I'm going to mark a spot on the cam, on the idler wheel, and I'm going to mark an index mark on the idler wheel, and I'm going to mark the string on the idler wheel. I'll probably also do that here on, off this little tiny mark on the, on the cam, and I'll make a mark here, make a mark down through my cam, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take measurements. I'm going to take measurements from the marks that I make here to uh, my knock point, my peep, and I'm going to do it from both locations. And the only reason I want to double check both locations is I want to make sure I am going to take the string and I'm going to match it up to the string that I pull off here to make sure that the lengths are right. Vapor Trail does a great job. They know what they're doing. And, but I want a couple of reference points. If I reference these points a little bit before I go to tear everything off, and have my bow all apart and then go to put it all back together. If I reference all of these little points, then I'll have some things to, to reference when I put the new stuff on. And it just gives me an idea that, you know, that I'm getting everything put together the right way, uh, that everything's coming together the way that I want it to, and that everything's working out all right. So, um, like I said, you get to these marks here. So these marks are really going to help me to get everything kind of dialed in and put back together in, in the way that I need to, you know, have it put together correctly and in a timely manner so I can get to shoot as quickly as possible. So let's see how it goes. Okay, so I've got my string and my cable on and now all I have to do is transfer some numbers from my uh, hole here. Before I do that, I'll probably take the bow out of the press and I'll, I'll draw it a few times uh, even without even without a knocking point or whatever I'll still put an arrow in the general vicinity and I'll point it in a safe direction uh, just in case but I want to I want to seat everything uh, you know not shooting it into seat but I want to seat it by drawing it in a couple of times and just kind of let everything feel that way I also have to look at the, the idler cam one of the things I forgot to mention is that I, and I forgot to do, was count the amount of twist that I had in my idler cam. This Z7, when I very first got it, I had a little bit of a trouble uh, with it shooting a, a, a knock left. And uh, so I, I tried to tune it out of there, and I, I didn't really know what I was, uh, why it wouldn't tune out. And then I kind of read on some of the forums, Archery Talk, and, and so on about uh, doing a little bit of a twist on the cable yoke 
a little bit on the left side if you get a left hair. So I did that. It did take care of it. So I was glad to see that. But I did forget while I was taking the old string off or the old cable off uh, to count the twists in the yoke. So I've got to kind of draw it a couple of times. I've got to look at the idler cam and see if I've got, I, I, I guesstimated the amount of twists that I had, which was a plus three to the left. And uh, so I'll do the same thing. I'll, I'll look at the idler cam. I'll see what I've got for twist in the thing and see if I've got about the same um, as what I had before. Should be fairly close and then I'll double check obviously after I do a shoot in period and, and get some arrows through the thing and then I'll double check a tune and all of that. Uh, but right now I'll go back to measuring from the tuning hole uh, to the knock point to the peep and from the center of the timing hole here to where I tied in my rest. Uh, the other thing is the string grubs that uh, come on the Matthew string. They're, I mean, they're shrink tubed on there. They're nice. Um, they do move around a little bit, so I might put a little uh, serving lock on there to keep it from sliding down into the string suppressor. Uh, but what I did is I simply got it off the old string, ran a piece of uh, serving through the string grub, uh, then through the loop of the string, back through the string grub, pull the string grub onto the string and uh, that's all there was to that. So anyway, so now it's on to the next step. Everything's on here. Now we'll go through, kind of mark everything, get everything tied on in the general vicinity and uh, then we'll take it out and shoot and see how close we are. Okay, I, uh, it, it's raining and it's blowing. I didn't know that. It wasn't this morning. When I went and got the mail and got my strings out of the out of the mailbox, but I took one shot right here at like three. What is this? Four steps, uh, just to make sure everything, you know, would be kind of there. So now it's uh, calmed down enough to where I'm going to go out here. We're going to go to 20 yards, and I apologize in advance. I've got a little wind beard on the uh, on the camera, but it's still going to pick up. I'm sure wind and uh, stuff like that. So. We'll go out here, we'll go to 20 yards real quick, we'll take a shot. I think it's going to be pretty good. All my measurements, everything's tied on. My grubs, uh, monkey tails are where they need to be. Uh, my peep measured out exactly the same. My knock point measured out exactly the same. So we'll go look at two things. We'll look at impact, where I impact, and arrow flight. Um, see if I'm tail high or if it's showing some lag. So let's walk right on out there. And uh, try to hump it out here so I don't get rain on everything. This is in the neighborhood of 20, I think. Got my range finder. Oops, 18 and a half. So I'm going to put you back here at like 23 or something. Okay, I need to look at the frame to see if I'm there. But uh, 20 yards. Change a string, do your measurements. I've done this before, by the way. That's the only reason I'm standing at 20. Otherwise, I'd be standing up there at 5, 10, something like that. So let's see. Yeah, 12 Well, that's the results. Like I said, index your cams, index your idler wheel, measure everything off of there, double check yourself for 
string versus your old string versus your new string, and uh, you might uh, might be able to do the same thing. It's not that hard. It's no, it's not new science. It's not new math. Anyway, uh, starting to rain again. So try it out. See if it happens uh, this way for you next time you change the string out. Take care. And by the way, I just want to point out a couple more little details, um, and mostly just about. Um, Vapor trail. Um, when you swap out vapor trail strings, full vapor trail strings from, say, the Matthews uh, factory strings, um, I really didn't have anything against the Matthews factory strings. But when you when you open your vapor trail strings, you're going to see that the serving on the cam studs is twice to three times as heavy and just a whole lot more durable looking. Um, their servings are very tight. Their center serving I like much better than the stock string that I had on here. Uh, their center serving is tight. It doesn't, uh, you know, it doesn't, uh, you know, when I very first got the Z7 and I looked at the center serving, it didn't take very long for knockwear to become an issue to where I started to have to pinch serving together. And I ended up uh, reserving it myself. And that was okay too, you know, I mean, that worked out better. But to be honest with you, the, uh, the center serving that Vapor Trail does, I, I don't see anybody could, how anybody can do it any better. Um, everything is just tip top. I love the way these strings uh, shoot. This is not the first time. I've got adrenaline, well, I've got adrenaline sitting right here that I don't shoot anymore. And uh, when I put that string on there, I mean, the shooting time was oh, negligible. Uh, I never even noticed uh, a difference. I didn't shoot that bow, you know, a couple of years, but I didn't. I shot it enough within that first year that I had that string on there um, that I, I never noticed a thing. So I can't say enough about Vapor Trail. You know, they're they're every bit as good as anybody's string. They don't cost as much as some of the other companies. Uh, they're quick, by the way. My order was placed on Sunday night online. I customize my colors, um, so it's, you know it's not one they had laying around. The the string shipped out on Tuesday, so where I live I get mail three days a week. It's Saturday today, and uh, and I, I got the string in the mail today. So obviously it would have been here probably Friday because it wasn't here Thursday. So quick shipping, uh, quick turnaround time. Place an order and you're going to have your string on its way within a couple of days, easy. Uh, it happened the same way with that string. I called Steve and I asked him um, how long it would take and he told me and it was quicker than he told me, uh, which I really appreciate. It was, uh, Vapor Trail strings, I'm telling you what, they're just so easy to deal with, obviously. When you're, when you're talking about taking a string off, taking measurements, and I did the same thing with that adrenaline, and that's why I say I've done it before. When you're taking measurements and you're just going by that and you're walking right out to your target and shooting, um, and then from that point on, how much shooting time do you have? Uh, I, I I just love what I'm getting out of these vapor trails. Um, you know, Z7 ain't the fastest bow on the planet, um, so I don't care. I haven't cronied it um, with this one. Um, but I highly recommend the, the vapor trails. I think they're just awesome. Uh, everything that I've I've done with them, which is only just a couple of times, has been just top notch. No problems, no worries, ships quickly, great strings. Give them a try.